Richburg State is shutting down in-person courses and all other college activities for that matter until the last week of January. WBC's Jim Smith says beginning this time next weekend, students won't be allowed on campus for two months. Everyone's kind of, you know, uneasy. Everyone wishes it was better, wishes COVID numbers would go down. Tough times at Fitchburg State. The latest surge in COVID cases forcing big changes for students here. The university now says it will shift most classes to remote learning by November 21st, with dorms closing for the semester by the 22nd. Students are now scrambling to make plans. Well, I'm from California, so I have to, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with my stuff. So I have to just grab it and then go and then just wait till like two months to see it again. Maddie Montagani says it's probably the right decision based on the surge, but it impacts the college experience. It's really unfortunate because, you know, we got sent home early in the spring and I play softball here, so I didn't get my season and it's not looking too good for the spring because they've already canceled fall and winter sports. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate with the way the numbers are going. Of course, Fitchburg State is not alone. Because of this COVID spike, a number of other colleges and universities are being forced to make difficult decisions. I think I kind of saw it coming. I didn't want to accept it, but I saw it coming because all the other schools are doing it. The spring semester at Fitchburg State will now start January 25th. That's a week later than originally planned. Students are doing their best to cope. I believe that this is probably the best idea just to try and like stop it so maybe we can have a summer, you know, so that's... It's probably the best idea. Jim Smith, WBZ News.